So here we go then with question one. We talked about a particle moving along a straight line and the speed of p at time t when t is greater than zero is given to us by a certain equation where mainly we're dealing with unknowns. We're then given a set of conditions so when t is equal to two the speed of p has its minimum value. When t equals zero v is 11 and when t equals two v is three. So we need to use that information to find out the values of p, q and r. The easiest one to start with is going to be this one in here and that's to say if we evaluate v uh, so put down for a evaluate v at t is equal to 0 we're going to get 11 now if I do that and substituting in t is 0 I just end up with r so I've got here that r is equal to 11 the next condition that I'm going to use is this one so when t is equal to 2 the speed of p has its minimum value so we want to find when v is at its minimum and to do that we need to differentiate and find dv by dt and say that when we evaluate that at t is equal to 2 we get a minimum value and so that's going to give us the differential to be 0. Uh, if we differentiate that equation we end up with 2pt plus q and that evaluated at t is equal to 2 is going to give us 0. So substituting that in, I've got here that 4p plus q is equal to 0. Now there's one condition left that I haven't used yet, and that's that when t is equal to 2, v is equal to 3. So that is to say that v evaluated at t is equal to 2 will give us 3. So if we substitute in t as 2, we get uh, 4p plus 2q. Uh, don't forget here we've also got the plus 11 which is equal to 3. Um, now I've got a system of simultaneous equations um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract my green equation from my red equation so just write that underneath again so that's 4p plus q is equal to 0 and now if I do a subtraction I'm going to end up with q plus 11 is equal to 3 or q is equal to minus 8 now I can substitute that back into my previous equations. So here I would have 4p minus 8 is equal to 0, which if we rearrange we've got 4p is equal to 8, so that tells me that p must be 2. Now what I'm to do is to find the acceleration of p when t is equal to 3. So let's just move ourselves down a little bit. Uh, we know that acceleration is going to be equal to dv by dt and we want to evaluate that at t is equal to 3. What does that give us? Well we already differentiated earlier we had 2p t plus q as our differential now we want to evaluate that at t is equal to 3 so I can substitute in all the values that I now know so that's 2 times by p which was 2 times by t which is 3 plus q which is minus 8 and that's 2 times 2 which is 4 times 3 which is 12 so that's 12 take away 8 so I find out that my acceleration here is going to be 4 meters per second squared. For the second part of this question I need to work out the distance traveled by p in the third second of motion. A bit of a peculiar way of asking this um, question but for the third second of motion that's going to be between second 2 and second 3. <clears throat> and what we want to do is to find the distance travelled so we know that to do that we have to integrate our equation for um, velocity so that's the integral of 2t squared because p is now 2 uh, minus 8t because q was 8 uh, plus r which was 11 and we want to integrate that with respect to t um, just integrating through to start with I've got that as 2 thirds of t cubed minus 4t squared plus 11t and I'm evaluating that between 3 and 2. Substituting in the values that then gives me 2 thirds of 27 minus uh, 4 times 9 which is 36 plus 33 and then I need to subtract 2 thirds of 8 and then take off and that becomes 16 and add on 22 
and to save going into too much further detail the final answer here comes out to be 11 over 3 meters and that's our final answer for question 1